Hi everyone, Scott here again. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating some of the uses of the Device Manager. And so to get started, let's go ahead and open it. The quickest way i found is just to open your Start menu and run a basic search for Device. And it'll pop up there towards the top. If you type in the full Device Manager, it'll be at the very top. And so the Device Manager basically shows you everything that's hooked up to your computer. You know, from your keyboards and mice, up through your display adapters, your video, um, even network here. So there's my wired and my wireless Ethernet port. Um, so let's start getting into some of the basics for this. Um, I actually have a couple examples. I'm going to start here with the network adapter. Um, there are times I will be on a wireless network and I want to go ahead and connect my Ethernet cable just for you know either a stronger signal or a more steady connection. Um, and even a little bit faster speed when I'm downloading large files or anything like that. And since I'm using a laptop, for some reason my laptop defaults to a wireless network if it has one available. And I've noticed that the switch on the front of my laptop, it'll shut off my wireless, but when I move the switch back, it doesn't always turn it back on. So I try not to use the hardware switch to disable this. I'll come in and manually disable it here in the device manager. So that'll shut off my wireless and it'll make my computer use my wired Ethernet. And then once I'm done with whatever I'm downloading, I can come right back in here and re-enable my wireless for, you know, general browsing, listening to music, stuff like that. Um, in addition to disabling something, you, you can also come in and uninstall things and just remove them completely. Um, a good example of that, let's see if I can find it here. There we are my little touchpad mouse because I almost always use a USB mouse I like the, the free range of motion rather than having this tiny little pad that I have to use my fingertip on and so if I wanted I could just come in and actually uninstall it and remove it completely and never have to worry about it I don't do that because it doesn't bother me that the software and the drivers are there for it I just have it disabled but I could come in and just remove it completely by uninstalling it and it usually will ask if you want to uninstall the drivers too um, I have noticed that a lot of the times if you come in and you select something and hit the delete key, um, usually, if not within an hour, then on your next reboot, it'll pick that device back up, especially if it still has the drivers, and it'll just make it reactive again. So if you are trying to get rid of something, you want to make sure you go to uninstall and remove the drivers for it as well. And that might come in handy if you don't want people, you know, plugging in flash drives and stuff like that. You know, you give them a, a user account without administrative privileges. That way they can't come and reinstall drivers for the USB ports. And so that would prevent them from using any flash media, external drives, anything like that. Um, I haven't seen this occur very often. Um, occasionally when I plug in a flash drive or a thumb drive, my computer won't recognize that there's anything plugged in it just won't detect that I've plugged something in so it doesn't even try to access it at all and if you ever have that problem you can come into the device manager and have it scan for hardware changes and that tells your computer hey go check I've plugged something in see if you can find it and if you don't have drivers install drivers I want to be able to use it so if it doesn't automatically detect it you can come in here and, and kinda give it a little nudge so that covers the basics from here a little bit more in depth. Let's go ahead into my display here and we'll look at our properties. Now there are four tabs. Your general is going to be very basic. What it does, who made it, where it's at, and whether or not it's working. Um, your driver tab is what you're going to be using most. Um, your details and resources, there's a lot of information on these that you may not understand or that may not be particularly useful to you like your details, just tons of information in here. So for the most part you're going to be using your driver tab. So it gives you again some of the ba same basic general info, you know, who made it, but it'll also show you your driver version, as well as the driver date, the date it was published. So you can go to your driver details to see everything about them. Um, you can update, and it gives you two options. This uh, automatic search kind of uses Windows 
um, automatic updates to search the web for a driver for that device. And I've noticed a lot of the time it doesn't actually work. It just says that your device is up to date already, whether it is or not. So a lot of the times it's best to go to your manufacturer's website and get the specific driver you need for that piece of hardware for your computer. And so once you've downloaded the driver, you can use this to browse to it and go and install it that way. Um, rolling back a driver, that's helpful sometimes. I updated my audio drivers and my microphone stopped working. And after a couple of hours of trying to configure it and change things to get it to work, I ended up just having to roll back my driver to a previous version and that re-enabled my microphone. So I don't know if it was just a compatibility issue with the rest of my hardware or what it was, but rolling back the driver gave me my microphone back. And at the bottom you have your disable and uninstall again, which we've covered. So that's kind of the basics of your device manager. I'm going to go ahead and end this here, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.